In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the items under the file menu. To create a new file or project, click on File, New, and then choose one of the options that appears. Source files end in .c or .h. If you want the IDE to generate code for you to get started quickly, use the Project Wizard. The Project 24-bit wizard is a project wizard for PIC24 or DSPIC devices. Set the name of the new project and click Save. Select the device family and then the device name. Click on the code tab to see what the generated code will look like. Next, select options that you wish to use in your project. If you want to use a fixed compiler version, select the compiler version to use. The watchdog timer can be enabled in this section. The example code section will let you generate a fully functional sample program. Analog is for analog pins. Communications is for RS-232 and I2C. squared SPI lets you set the SPI ports. Drivers is where you can select standard drivers to include. Header files is for selecting .h files to include. Click on a question mark for more details. High or low voltage is for high or low voltage detection. Interrupts is where you can select interrupts to use. I.O. pins lets you set a pin to input, output, or both. Timers 0 through 2 is where you can enable these timers. Timers 3 and up is for PIC 18 timers. LCD internal is for devices with internal LCD segment drivers. LCD external is where you can select the pins for an LCD. Capacitive touch is for capacitive touch interfaces. RTCC stands for real-time clock and calendar. This is where you can set the time and an alarm. CCPV ref is for compare, capture, PWM, and voltage reference. Comparator is for setting up a comparator. USB is for devices with USB. TCP IP is where you can set networking configurations. Modbus is for the Modbus communication protocol. Canbus is for Canbus communication. Notice that there is an interrupts tabs where you can set Canbus interrupts. Bootloader lets you select if the bootloader location should be at the start or end of memory. Advanced Options has a few more options for you to consider. Fuses is where you can include fuses and select related options. If you want to save the settings that you have selected so that you can load them again later when creating another project, click on the File tab at the top of the pop-up window and click Save Settings. These will be saved with a.wiz extension. When you are finished selecting your options, click on the Create Project button. Create Project will create a new project from an existing file. RTF stands for Rich Text Format. Creating a new RTF file will open up the documentation editor so that you can create files with rich features such as bold or underlined text. The IDE comes with a flow chart editor program. Select a diagram object on the left side. Click on a space in the grid where you want the object to appear. Next, select a line and then connect that line to the object by clicking on a blue marker on the object. Notice that there is an encrypt option. 
This makes an encrypted copy of the active editor file that may be pound included without distributing the readable source. The new file will end in dot encrypted. If you wish to save a copy of your project to a zip file, click on File, Copy Project. Notice that it will also give you the option to copy files to a new directory tree or to copy the hex file. The rest of the options in the file menu are pretty self-explanatory. Open lets you open up any file including source files, projects, output files, RTF files, flowcharts, hex files, and text files. The RO after source file stands for read-only. Open all files will open up all of the .c and .h files in the editor that are being used in the current project. Close will close the the current file opened up in the editor and close all will close all of the files opened in the editor and the project. Save will save the current file opened up in the editor. Save as will prompt you for the name to save the file as. Save all will save all of the files opened up in the editor. Print will print the current file opened up in the editor. Print all files will let you select which .c and .h files you want to print from the current project. Exit PCW will close the IDE software program. Visit ccsinfo.com for more information about the easy-to-use CCSC compiler IDE and for purchasing options.